Hi, what's up? My name is Adam, and you are on Cyber Raccoon Channel. Today I'm going to tell you about the most anticipated games in 2021. Watch the video to the end, subscribe our channel and you will always be aware of what to play today. Hitman 3 Agent 47 is returning in Hitman 3 and he'll be getting stuck into his assassination contracts on both next-gen and current-gen consoles. In what is set to be a dramatic conclusion the world of the Assassination Trilogy, where players carry out missions around the world in different sandbox locations, Agent 47 is said to carry out his most intimate, professional contract of his career. IO Interactive also revealed the start of the game will take place in Dubai. The Medium Layers of Fear and Blair which developer Bloober Team are bringing you another helping of horror with the upcoming release of The Medium. In this psychological horror, you'll travel through what Bloober calls the dual reality of both the real world and the spiritual at the same time. With a screen split between the two realities, you'll use your psychic powers to solve puzzles and uncover dark and disturbing secrets. If you enjoy mysteries and horror, this might just be what you're after. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time Remake Ubisoft is bringing back one of the PS2 slash Xbox slash GameCube era's most memorable titles with a fresh remake of Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. It might sound surprising for a studio that's been around so long, but this marks Ubisoft's first full-fledged remake, distinct from other titles they've simply remastered for newer hardware. That said, The Sands of Time remake is pretty darn faithful to the original, just with modern graphics and gameplay. Returnal the first major PS5 exclusive of the year is also Housemarque's return to the genre that it made a name for itself with, blending its patented arcade shoot em up style into a story-driven, third-person adventure for Returnal. You play as Selene, an astronaut stuck in a hellish groundhog day of sorts, as she endlessly attempts to fight her way out of a recurring death cycle. You know, exactly the kind of light-hearted romp you'd want to see in the spring months with. Kenna Bridge of Spirits This new and adventure from developer Ember Lab sees you play as Kenna, a young spirit guide who sets out to find a sacred mountain shrine in an abandoned village populated by trapped spirits. Kenna is also joined by adorable little fuzzy spirits known as the Rod who we already immediately want a plushie of. Helping you along the way, you can collect the Rod throughout your journey to gain abilities and alter the environment around you to progress. It certainly gives off some Pikmin vibes and a lot of charm. Little Nightmares 2 Yes, Little Nightmares is getting a sequel and Six is back, but this time you'll be playing as new character Mono who journeys through the world with Six as his guide. The world is apparently rotten from the inside and Six is fading. Together, you'll have to venture through creepy woodlands and unsettling schools to reach a signal tower and try to find what is spreading evil to TV screens. With lots of new threats in your path and horrible inhabitants who certainly won't give you a warm welcome, it looks like we're in for another nightmarish adventure. Outriders A brand new shooter IP from People Can Fly, and published by Square Enix, is Outriders. You play as a member of humanity who has had to flee Earth, and has landed on a planet called Enoch. But, an immense storm called the Anomaly forces them back into cryostasis. And yet, when they awake, they all find themselves imbued with ridiculous powers. It's Mass Effect meets Doom and we are so in. Deathloop. Imagine Groundhog Day, but you're two assassins who end up killing each other every day, and then repeat ad nauseum. Well, that's Deathloop. The game takes place in the mysterious Black Reef, in what's described as a time of madness. In development at Arcane Lion, it's clear that our two assassins have very different ideas of their current situation. Juliana wants to protect it, while Cole hopes to break free of their never-ending cycle, but what they always do is kill each other. Over and over again. Back 4 Blood Left 4 Dead 3 in all but name, Back 4 Blood is the same 4-player co-op zombie experience that you'd expect from the Valve series, just without the Valve involvement. We dove into the game's recent alpha and can confirm it has the same frantic energy as the Left 4 Dead games, the humor, distinctive style, and of course, lots and lots of zombies. It's going to be beautiful chaos. Solar Ash is the latest game from Hyperlight Drifter and will see players journey through a rift in space known as the Ultra Void, which just happens to be swallowing entire worlds. 
The game is quite the personal experience, where the characters must find solace in each other as they look to evolve their struggle into something a little more hopeful. Little Devil Inside After starting life as a Kickstarter project, Little Devil Inside actually appeared in the big PS5 showcase in 2020. This is an RPG with survival elements involved, and quite the little sense of humor. It's set in Victorian-esque era, where you're tasked with discovering, and fighting, a range of bizarre monsters. It looks like quite the romp. Ghostwire, Tokyo As people start evaporating from the neon-lit streets of Toiko, it's clear that something's not quite right. In Ghostwire, Tokyo's strange shadowy figures begin patrolling the streets, and terrifying monsters based on Japanese lore and legends. It's being made by the same studio that brought you survival horror The Evil Within, which is promising. Especially as it sounds like it's filled with paranormal entities, supernatural events, conspiracies, and the occult. Stray. Ever wanted a game where you play as a little street cat? Well, now's your chance. This is Stray, and as the title suggests, you play as a stray kitty exploring a cyberpunk world filled with robots. Because of your stature, you'll be able to sneak under cars, clamber over rooftops, and even be a little bit sneaky. Your task is to untangle an ancient mystery to escape this long-forgotten city, enlisting the help of a small drone, known only as B-12. Sable. With a gorgeous art style, an original soundtrack, and an interesting premise, Sable already looks and sounds very promising. From indie developer Shedworks, you play as Sable who sets out on her gliding, which is said to be a rite of passage that will see you travel across expansive deserts. As you venture through the landscape, you can explore it in whatever way you wish at your own pace. From traveling on your hoverbike, yes, you have a hoverbike, to climbing ruins, or walking on foot, you can solve puzzles and encounter other nomads who might just ask for your help. Open Roads Get ready for a road trip with Tess Devine and her mother Opal as they set out to uncover their family secrets. After discovering notes and letters tucked away in the attic of their home, the mother-daughter duo journeys to visit old abandoned family properties to learn more about their family history. Revisiting memories that each property holds, Open Roads explores the relationship between Tess and Opal and takes them on a journey into the past they'll never forget. From Gone Home and Tacoma developer Fulbright, this notable upcoming adventure features the voice acting talents of Carrie Russell and Caitlin Devere. Ratchet & Clank, A Rift Apart A brand new Ratchet & Clank adventure from Insomniac Games is arriving around the same time as the PS5, and it's a dimension-smashing adventure. Dr. Nefarious has got the Dimensionator and is ripping holes between worlds, dragging our duo of heroes with him. There will be new gadgets, new worlds, and more to discover in Ratchet & Clank, A Rift Apart, including a brand new, playable, female Lombax from another dimension. Boyfriend Dungeon Kit Fox Games' Boyfriend Dungeon lets you date your weapons. It makes sense, really. If you think about it, fighting side by side in close quarters is the perfect setup for romance to blossom. You get a summer job fighting creatures in the dunge, and it's here that you discover your weapons can transform into dateable singles who just so happen to be up for some lovin'. Any money you earn can be used to take your weapon out on romantic adventures, and as you fight together to clear out monster infestations your bond will grow. With an inclusive lineup of characters and romances, this dungeon-crawling dating sim mashup already looks like one of the most swoon-worthy upcoming indie releases. Far Cry 6 Yes, that's right. Far Cry is returning once again. Set in Yara, which is described as a tropical paradise frozen in time, Far Cry 6 sees you play as a local Yaron called Danny Rojas. 
Taking on the role of a guerrilla fighter, you set out to take down the dictatorship regime of Anton Castillo, played by Giancarlo Esposito. As the leader of Yara, Castillo wants to restore the nation back to its former glory, and he's willing to do it by any means necessary. Halo Infinite Bearing a curious new subheader and running on a brand new game engine known as Slipspace, the first Halo Infinite trailer almost seems to suggest that Master Chief's next adventure will have MMO qualities to it, or at least be more open-ended and sandbox-like in flavor. That instantly familiar shot of his armor also teases a potential technological downgrade for everyone's favorite Spartan, though plot details remain threadbare for now. MMO or otherwise, Halo? Infinite could just be the Halo comeback we've all been waiting for. 12 Minutes Nomad is interactive thriller 12 Minutes has firmly been on our radar since the studio debuted a trailer at E3 2019. You play as a husband who's stuck in a 12-minute time loop. A romantic evening with your wife quickly turns into a nightmare when a police officer breaks into your house and accuses your wife of murder. Suddenly you're returned to the moment before everything unfolded, and as you go through each time loop, you have to work to change your fate and break the loop once and for all. Taking inspiration from The Shining, Memento, and Rear Window, it's easily one of the most interesting indie titles to look forward to in 2020. Psychonauts 2 The original Psychonauts is the kind of cult classic that's beloved by all who play it, and it set the tone for all of Double Fine's following games, fun, quirky, imaginative, and relentlessly clever. Now, after over a decade since the debut of their first adventure at Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, Roz, Lily, and elite members of the Psychonauts are back for another mind-delving, 3D platforming adventure. Picking up where the PSVR exclusive Rhombus of Ruin left off, Psychonauts 2 promises more whimsical, vibrant mental mindscapes to explore as Roz runs and jumps around the inner thoughts of idiosyncratic, often hilarious characters. Vampire, The Masquerade, Bloodlines 2 after the release of the first Vampire Masquerade, Bloodlines in 2004, nothing came as close to a great vampire RPG since. Thankfully, Hardsuit Labs and Paradox Interactive are bringing Bloodlines back with a sequel that promises to take us on an immersive role-playing experience as a vampire thrown into the world of bloodsuckers in Seattle. As a newly sired vampire, you'll find yourself caught up in blood trade war between competing vampire factions. With dialogue options, alliances to be made, and choices to make, Bloodlines 2 looks like it's shaping up to fill the void the first game left behind it. Lord of the Rings Gollum Prepare yourself to become precious with Lord of the Rings Gollum, a brand new game from Daedalic Entertainment where you play as, unsurprisingly Gollum, starting out in Barad-dûr, the Mordor fortress where Gollum is being held captive. The game will take you through plenty of Middle-earth's locations with promises of giant, persistent environments, each harboring several quest lines and a range of friendly or unfriendly faces, according to the developer in an interview with Edge magazine anyway. Aesthetically the game is inspired by Tolkien's own drawings and plays out like a stealth action adventure game that takes advantage of Gollum's dual personalities too. Chorus Name me one other game where you play as Ascension Spaceship. Go on, try. Well, welcome Chorus, a brand new spaceflight combat shooter, where you play as Nara and Forsaken, or Sentient Starfighter. Taking the genre straight into the next generation of consoles, Chorus looks pretty awesome, melding exploration across the universe without gunning your enemies in an epic quest to free an oppressed galaxy. Resident Evil Village is a sequel to Resident Evil 7 and takes Horizon Forbidden West. Aloy is officially back in a sequel to 2017's Horizon Zero Dawn, and this time will be journeying to the post-apocalyptic setting of San Francisco in America. The trailer which debuted during Sony's Future of Gaming event revealed Horizon Forbidden West will be coming to the PS5, and showed off gorgeous, vibrant landscapes, new big machines creatures, and, most interestingly of all, underwater sequences. We'll no doubt have more mysteries to unravel as we return to Guerrilla Games' unique world when it does eventually release on the next-gen console. The Callisto Protocol Fans of survival horror may want to have the Callisto Protocol on their internal motion sensor. Debuting from new studio Striking Distance, the next-gen survival horror game takes place within a maximum security prison on Jupiter's moon, and promises plenty of gruesome alien nightmare fuel. Devised from Glenn Schofield, the man we have to thank for Dead Space, the Callisto Protocol also technically takes place in the PUBG universe, yes, that PUBG universe. 
See, now you're interested. Hogwarts Legacy While not a direct adaptation of the Harry Potter books, Hogwarts Legacy is taking all of its inspo straight from the lore. You'll be playing as a student attending Hogwarts during the 1800s, some hundreds of years before Harry and co were born, but no doubt will get up to plenty of wizardy mischief. It's an open world RPG, so expect plenty to explore too. Arc 2. The dinosaur hunting PC hit is back with a bigger, ballsier sequel that features none other than Vin Diesel both in front and behind of the digital camera. Yep, the Fast and Furious star is not only playing a key character in the next-gen survival game, but he's joined series developer Studio Wildcard as an executive producer, having long been a fan of the original game. Goodness knows what that means for the final product. Perhaps the dinosaurs were part of our family all along. Subscribe our channel, rate this video and you will always be aware of what to play today.